No markups, no bullshit, no waxing me down and pulling my hair off my pubic area or nothing like that. And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to a new video. We just left the Dodge dealership. You probably already saw that video, so this one's a day or so later, and I'm just continuing from there. And I went around the corner, less than a block away, and saw a Ford dealership, and literally pulled in there and shot this video. And I am blown away. No markups, no games, no baloney. But anyways, just watch the video and you can see why people would buy Fords instead of Dodges right now based on just this treatment. Now maybe I got lucky and I walked into a unique Ford dealership and maybe the rest of them are all just like the Dodge dealerships, but I don't think so. I think the Dodge dealerships could learn a lot here. No addendums, salesmen straight up about the pricing, even telling me that I can offer less and probably get one of the cars or two of the, whatever car I wanted there. and. Uh, just no games, just nice people. No high pressure, no give me your phone number, let me chase you down, let me camp out in front of your house. No weird stuff. So well, let's just go ahead and play the video. Let's check out some Fords. The uh, company that's still gonna be making the V8s, still going to be making fun cars. And let's see though if they do the stupid stuff that Dodge does with all the markups and stuff. So who knows? I'll be frank with them. Listen, I'm I'm a jilted lover from Dodge. I'm open to buying a Mustang, reluctantly. Whoops, reluctantly. But if it has a V8, then at least I've got a V8 car. So let's see what these guys say. All right, there is a bunch of Mustangs over here. Now I am not a Mustang expert. I don't know anything about Mustangs. So bear with me if you're a Ford lover. But I want to look at, I think the 5.0 is a great scat pack competitor. I know you're going to say, but it will kill a scat pack. So this guy is a GT Premium 5.0 V8 2024. Wow. This is cool, dude. Good, I'm Brad. So I'm just filming because I'm thinking about switching from Dodge to Ford because you guys still have V8s and they're going full woke. So I, I just pulled in. So uh, don't freak out, but it's okay. you guys have V8s. Yeah, we do. And the CEO Ford's says- We're not gonna get rid of the V8s, they already said it. Isn't that beautiful? They're gonna say, they're gonna keep doing the V8s as long as they can. I love that. We do. Yeah, because you still have buyers, right? Yep. 50 grand, and this it is fast. Be, it should be a little bit cheaper on the internet. Wow, 2024 with a V8. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Miles. That's a beautiful thing. 48 grand. That's a lot of car. For the for for a 24. Oh, you can go to that one too. Super Snake? Yep. How much is that that big daddy? That one should be in the 80s. <laughs> oh, that's badass too. And we got the car, man. If he doesn't buy it, I'm buying it. I'm well, just no, kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. Oh, I got I got an 18 year old, so it costs even more. It doesn't get cheaper, dude. I have a street bike. I have one. Yeah. But it's mainly for her. Yeah. Tell daddy you want this one or that one. Well, that one's a stick shift. That one is not super church. Oh, but it's a stick shift. That's 126 horsepower. Oh, man. Man, my scat pack's a six speed manual. This is over 700 horsepower. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this thing. See this? This is cool. This is, oh, this is, this is a tree killer. Holy moly. Damn, dude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's a monster, huh? Yes. 12,000 miles. Yeah, this thing is nice. Damn. Carbon fiber everywhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, look at that. Big V8 with a supercharger. So this is like a Hellcat com competitor, but faster. It's faster. And depends on the driver, so it makes it faster. This is a donut machine right here. Wow. Well, if you got a muscle car, this is the car to have. Oh yeah, this is it still under warranty also, or outside of warranty now? Uh, 12,000 so miles. I think it's it. When it's supercharged, we can warranty. That's freaking cool. Well, this is nice too. Oof. Yeah, that one is nice too. Oh, this is only 62 grand. 
Yeah, this is a freaking awesome car. The manual transmission also. I've never seen you mine because 17,000 miles only. You have new Mustangs too? Yes. You want to take a look at it? Yeah, just real fast, dude. Yeah, I bought eight Dodges in five years. Damn. Because I do this. I did. Now I hate them. They're screwing the, the whole business up, dude. They got rid of all the V8s. They're bringing out an electric car. I don't want an electric car. Yeah, a lot of people are going for the electric. I don't want any electric car. Some people get bored with the electric. And the depreciation's horrible. Yep. And what's funny, see that with that right there? Yes. That's gonna be that's faster than the new Dodge Char Charger Scat Pack EV. That's faster. And it's less money. What's that, like 70 grand, 60 grand, 70? That one, yeah, it should be between 60 and 70. Yeah, so they're gonna want eighty-two thousand dollars for that Dodge Charger, and that thing's gonna beat it. That's, that's not good. What's that dark horse thing? Is that something you guys ha are getting or? Uh, we should have some. I don't know where I have it, but I know we do. I know it's a used one too. So these are the new ones. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that blue. So what do the new ones run? Looking at. Yeah, 50 grand. Yep. How many horsepower is in this thing? 430. And it's lighter than a Challenger. So it's a good competitor to the Challenger for 50 grand. They were asking over 60 grand for those scat packs. We got 49 grand for a V8. No markups, no bullshit, no waxing me down and pulling my hair off my pubic area or nothing like that. Yeah, now they took the markups off, so we gotta go with the, gotta move with the flow. But that's good. That's that's good for me. Yeah. yeah. And for us too, because we got so many cars that we gotta move it. Yeah. The more we sell, the more we get. That's the problem. We sell a lot. That's what we get a lot. I just went to the Dodge dealership over there, and they they have add-ons on everything. Oh yeah, we don't. We don't yeah. play that stupid game. Jeez. Yeah. We have like six, seven thousand dollars. You gotta get it with the warranty. I mean, with the alarm, with the low jack, with this. With yep. That. We don't, we just go straight out. Yeah. That's the car you want to add it to stuff. No problem. You ever seen the nitrogen fill for 350 bucks? Yeah, I see all kinds of shit. <laughs> but we don't, you know, they call and say, oh, you're not like the other dealers, are you? Well, because everybody has this, guys. I say, what dealer? And they'll tell us, and oh, yeah, they have this, they have that, they got that. No, they don't. They go, okay, yeah. they call them, then they call me. But no, thanks for the tour, man. We'll do some business. <laughs> thanks, man. I'm going to trade it for that giant Raptor over there. The big burgundy raptor? He yeah. was a Shelby. <laughs> that thing's badass, isn't this it? This is the most beautiful like the clean too. cut. I saw a lot of those. They yeah. come and they get, ah, this is clean. One, yes, two, three. Beautiful. Yeah, when I first, all my, my friends, oh, they all have green and orange and yellow, yeah. which I love the colors too. Yep. But when I saw this, I can drive this to work yeah. in a suit and tie. Yeah. And then take it on the weekends and do crazy stuff. Yep. How beautiful is that? You have forged carbon inside too, or just on the? Uh, just on the outside. Yeah. 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 Nice. But I've got the um, center exit, center exit exhaust uh -huh. from Voodoo. I'm doing oh, nice. next month, and then um, a wing. A wing. And I'll match. I'll try to match the wing with the forged carbon in the yeah. back. But I have a my daily is a Dodge Challenger. Nice. Um, but 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 here's the deal dodge i'm mad at dodge right now i'm disgusted with dodge right now and that's why i pulled in here I, my navigation was still on because i was going home yeah and then i just saw all the trucks out there i'm like holy shit man i gotta stop yeah. i gotta stop and check out ford because you guys are still selling v8s yeah and dodge is getting rid of v8s yeah, like I tell that big says, mistake as long as i can build v8s yeah i'm still gonna do it so that's what i remember we had all the c maxes the fusion energies all those cars yeah that made you guys be able to yeah, sell the v8s yeah, so we got all those uh credits to the government yeah there's my there's my cop car oh. I, I want the loud exhaust so yeah. i can flip a switch and then yep. shatter windows yeah, exactly. which is what i do with the mustang too i'd open up that exhaust yeah. to make that thing just they have scream them the factory on those. You hit the yeah. switches four modes. and and right. the remote too yeah uh -huh. yeah you can do the rev remote. what on the gt also GTs, yeah. uh -huh. and so GT and, now. And, and the too. Yep. so for 50 grand i get a brand new gt yeah. with a v8 in it That'll keep up with the scat pack. Yeah. Has a remote yep. exhaust valve opening. And then superchargers, they're about like 13 grand if you do the Rao supercharger. Yeah. Cool. And they can go over 700 horsepower. Yeah, seven, I think it's 750 on those. It's a Hellcat killer. Yeah. 
if you can get traction. Yeah. That's the fun yeah. part. Yeah, the newer ones uh, is a lot more traction than the old. Well, no, I'm glad I met you guys, man. Because I yeah. honestly, I've not, I've never been. I haven't. I don't think I've been on a Ford dealership, except when I looked at that GT 500 <laughs> in COVID, and they wanted 50 grand over for it. He's but here Monday to Friday every day. No way. Yeah. The yeah. owner's working. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, call it, is, I thought you were the owner. I wish. He owners every single car buying. Oh man, I just need a daily that I enjoy driving yeah. that I can do donuts in on the weekends. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, guys. All right. All right. Nice Appreciate meeting meeting. the time. Nice meeting you too. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, so that was a different kind of video. We just popped into the Ford dealership, completely unexpected, wasn't planning on doing that. And, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I'm impressed for the price, $50,000, I can get a V8 car that's likely as fast or faster than my Scat Pack. I mean, it sucks, because I love Mopar. You guys know, I mean, I bleed Mopar in my blood in my veins i mean i'm that's who i am but dodge is leaving us so i don't know what i'll do but at the very least i thought it'd be worth checking these things out no markups no add-ons no junk fees at ken grody ford in buena park here so you know straight up he even told me we'll even come off the prices a little bit you know let's get in there and make an offer so i still had to do the dance but man the difference between dodge and mustang dealership less than a mile from each other is significantly different so uh, i don't know it is what it is so with that everybody please like subscribe comment let me know should i buy a mustang should i keep my dodge should i keep my swinger and buy a mustang or should i sell my swinger i mean the only reason i'd sell it is i'm just pissed off at dodge and at this point i don't need extra cars i can't park anywhere but if i had a Mustang 5.0 or Dark Horse or something. I don't know. God, going to Mustang is so hard. But coming here and not feeling totally dirty and like they were trying to shake me down, it's kind of a refreshing experience. So, I don't know. Dodge dealers, if you're watching this, learn something. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.